Hey everybody, welcome back to day eight of Rattle Together, where we achieve success through Rattle. Respect, ambition, tenacity, trustworthiness, loyalty, and empathy. All the characteristics that you should be displaying every day, all the time. All right, so let's get started. First, our riddle from yesterday was, what has hands but can never clap? What has hands but can never clap? And I'll give you a hint. It's something that's usually hanging on a wall or on someone's wrist. That's right, a clock. A clock. Here's a Judy clock. These things that move around and point to the numbers and tell us the time, they are called hands. And a clock cannot clap its hands. Ever. No matter how hard it tries. Poor little clock. Can't clap. Sorry, you got a little scared away there. That is the answer to the riddle, a clock. Okay, so our new riddle today, I forget what I was gonna, give me two seconds here guys, I'm not starting this video over again. Oh, okay, this is a good one. Forgot what I was gonna say. I am following you around almost all the time and copying your ever, every move. But you can't touch me and you can't catch me. Na na boo boo, you can't catch me. Sorry. Okay. So, what am I? I am following you around almost all the time, copying your every move, yet you can't touch me or catch me. Think about that one. And if you think of it, send me the answer. If not, listen tomorrow for the answer. All right, you ready? It's time for our caterpillar check-in. That wasn't as good as usual, but that's okay. Here are our caterpillars. If you recall, they have been growing, and I don't know if you can tell, but they, when I came in this morning to my office, they looked huge to me, and Got out my ruler. This guy's bent, so he's gonna be hard to measure. I'm gonna try this guy first. This guy is a little bit curled up and he's already an inch, so he's over an inch. This guy is like an inch and a quarter. This guy, who's wiggling his butt, is probably over an inch. So they're all growing. They're all growing fast. I wonder what they're gonna do tomorrow. What is that guy doing? Look at him. It's just kinda, I don't know if you can see that. Kinda hanging his head down. Um, they might also not be getting as long as they would be because I've noticed that some of their sections, I don't know if you can tell from this video, but like this little, this black spot is a section of caterpillar. And there's another one over here, and there's another one hanging from the lid. I don't know what that's all about. If that's normal or not, we'll have to look that up. I think it is, though, because look, if I, you definitely can't see this, but down at the bottom, there are tinier ones that are sections, old sections of them. Very interesting. Learning stuff every day about caterpillars. And again, here's our caterpillar model. It's just gonna keep on growing. Not gonna get this big though. And how long have we been doing this? Like four days? So early next week, they should start to make chrysalides. We will check in every day on that. Okay, moving on right along. Our science experiment today is a very springy one. And all you need for it, paper, crayons, scissors, um, a little bowl or plastic plate with just a little bit of water. That's it. We're making some spring flowers. And I'm not going to tell you exactly what the experiment is yet because it'll kind of take the fun out of it. So here's a flower. I've made these two flowers today. This one's a little bit, um, I don't know if I can use this one again in this episode, but maybe. 
We'll see. Okay, so we're gonna make some flowers and then I just have this little bowl with water in it. You don't need that much water at all for this experiment. I've got my scissors. I've got my paper. Whatever paper you've got, guys, give it a whirl. Um, this is construction paper. You may or may not have that at home. Um, yeah, I'm going to start with a square, which we've been doing a lot of getting a square. But I kind of want my square to be smaller than the squares we've been working with. So I'm going to fold it in half first. Um, okay. So my square will not be as large as the squares that we've been doing. Tilt you so you can see as usual. Here's my folded it in half. Is this hamburger? This is hamburger. In half hamburger way. And line up the edges. Push back to the middle. Slide out. Slide out. Now I have, if I open it up, two rectangles. And what I'm going to do is take this corner and I'm going to go to this middle crease instead of, you know how we usually go like all the way to the edge, but I'm going to just go to this crease today. Go to the crease, line it up beautifully, put my finger, slide it back, and slide out to each side. Then I'm going to cut along both edges. Miss Rubish is staring at me right now, and I'm not going to talk to her um, because we're doing our video. And if I stop, oh, I'm going to, uh-uh, don't do it, Miss Rubish. Don't do it, Miss Rubish. She just came in my office. Can you believe this? Hi, you guys. I miss you all. This is the only time I'm on a video, so I wanted to say hi. Okay. Now I can understand why you know exactly where to put this. <laughs> you know what I mean? Your, your papers. My papers? Yeah. It's because I okay. use my eyes. The camera? Because I can see myself. Okay, bye everybody. Have fun with Miss Burns. <laughs> okay, that was Miss Burt or Miss Rubush. Um, I'm cut, I cut along that edge, and now I'm gonna cut along the other one. Well, that was interesting, right, guys? So I'm looking very carefully while I cut. We've been doing a lot with like cutting and folding paper lately. We'll see. Uh, what our next episode brings. So now I have my square and I'm going to fold it in half this way. It doesn't really matter hot dog or hamburger now because it's all the same because it's a square. Okay, so I fold it like this and then I'm going to fold it. This is where it's a little bit tricky guys and I hope you can see. So I'm folding this corner towards the side, but I'm not like folding it all the way over like this. I'm gonna fold it so it's kind of at a weird, awkward angle. Um, and it comes up like that, you see? Okay. So I'm gonna press down and out, and it looks like this. And now this corner I'm gonna fold down, I'm gonna fold it over this edge. So I am folding it right to that edge right to that edge and I have it like this now it was like this and then I folded it down like this okay and now I am going to take my scissors you might need to have a grown-up do this for you and I'm gonna cut like a I'm gonna cut a petal shape um, I'm gonna do it on this side so that I can see where the paper ends because I'm gonna have my petal end here and I'm not cutting the tip. I'm just gonna cut from like here to here. I'll draw it on a piece of paper so you can see. With, I've got a blue crayon right here. So I'm just gonna draw like this and like this. There's my petal shape. And I'm gonna cut on that blue line.
Okay, here we go. And now I'm gonna unfold it. And I have a beautiful flower. Look at that pretty flower. Now, I'm putting this other piece of paper under it just so I have something there to color. And I'm gonna color it in. So you pick whatever colors you want. You don't have to color it in, um, but you can if you'd like to. And you can color it in however you want, whatever colors you want. I am. Um, just literally coloring in my petals, making them pink, making them so bright and pink. Whoops, my brain is blown away. I'll put it back. Oh my goodness, I forgot to say that you could pause the video to get your supplies before, but you already know that by now, right? Yeah, you got it. Color, 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 coloring in my flower. It's so pretty, cause I'm coloring it pink. You can make it whatever color you want. I know you guys love my singing. It's so wonderful. All my songs. Jane gets very mad at me when I sing and then tell her that I wrote the song for her. I just think it's funny. Okay, there's my flower. All colored in. My nose itches. I'm trying not to touch my face, but my nose itches. Okay, now we're going to take the tip of every single petal and fold it into the center. So when you look, you'll be able to see the center of your flower. Just fold it over. Folded and folded and folded and folded and again. And it does not have to be perfect, but try to put the points towards the middle so it's all folded up like this. I bet you're wondering what we're going to do next. Well, this is where the water comes in. Now, what do you think is going to happen when I put my flower in this water? I want you to write down a quick prediction. What do you think will happen? You can pause the video if you need to. Or tell your answer to a grown-up and have your grown -up, the grown-up write it really quickly. Okay. So I'm going to put it in. You'll get to see what happens if you didn't already do it yourself. And then we'll talk about why. Ready? I'm just going to drop it right in. Can you see that? It bloomed. It opened right up. Wasn't that so cool, guys? And you can reuse these. Um, that's what I was talking about earlier with this one. I've actually already done this one a couple times. Once you take it out of the water, you can just put it off to the side and it'll dry because it's just paper. And paper can get wet and then dry off. So the reason that it works, I'll do the little yellow one again. Um, I'm folding the points in. So the reason it works is because the fibers of the paper absorb the water. And when it absorbs the water, what happens to things when they absorb water? Think about a sponge. What happens when it absorbs the water. That's right, it gets bigger, it expands. So the fibers expand and they have nowhere to go so they push out and they cause, they cause it to open up. Ready? I'm gonna do it again. Isn't that so fun? I love this project. That is a really cool experiment. I hope that you do that, film it, show me, um, have fun with it. Guys, that that was awesome. I'm really excited about that. Okay, so that was today's experiment. I'm going to bring us back to here. Because you know what we forgot to do? We forgot to check in with our experiments from past couple days. We don't have to check in with yesterday's experiment. Um, which was more successful even after I got off, got off the phone with you. That's silly. Even after I ended the video, I kept rolling it into a ball and it bounced even higher eventually. Um, this morning was all dried up and gross, but it did make a bouncy ball. So I'm excited about that. So let's check in with our pennies and we're gonna add even more vinegar to them today. Here we go, look at our pennies. Can you see how green they're getting? They are getting so green. Look at this guy. This one, 
they've got some interesting patterns of green on them. So I'm going to uh, add a little bit more vinegar. I think today might be the last day that I add vinegar. Actually, here, let me... Ew. Can you guys tell how green that is? Oh, I'm going to put something white behind it. Can you see that green? Probably not. Super, super green. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit more vinegar. And then... We'll check in on it again tomorrow. The one over here isn't turning green at all, but the others all have a little bit of green on them. Okay, so that was that experiment. I'm gonna let Grimly, Penny, and Hedgy watch that for a second, and I'm gonna pull over our paper towel experiment that we've been working on. Now here, remember, when we talked about how the color was starting to climb it, it's actually not climbing it. This is the same thing as with our flowers that we just made. The water with food coloring in it is being what? Absorbed, that's right, by the paper towel. And that's why it's appearing to climb up and then down the sides. So we still haven't gotten any where they are on both sides totally in here the blue look at the blue went all the way it's going almost all the way down the red is working its way down on this one the yellow and the blue are both kind of halfway down I'm wondering what this is gonna look like tomorrow and I might have to make a video tomorrow just so that we can see um, do some check-ins with everything tomorrow isn't that cool write down your prediction for this too okay I'm gonna put that back and we can move on to our craft. Today's craft is kind of a little science experiment, just like our science experiment was kind of a craft. Um, <laughs> Spurn's just, yeah. I've got some cool stuff coming though. Uh, not that this isn't cool stuff, this is really cool stuff. And this is messy stuff. Again, the Spurn's and mess. I don't know what it is, guys. I just can't help it. So here are the things that you're going to need for this experiment, or yeah, this craft. We are going to make bath paint. So if you're taking a bath or a shower, you can bring this in there and you can paint the walls and you can paint the floor and then it'll just wash right off and it's safe. Um, since I'm not in the bath, what am I getting in the bath? I'm just going to paint on some paper. So I have construction paper. A little bit of dish soap. Dish soap is optional, apparently, but it makes it easier to clean off if you use food coloring, which I am choosing to use. We're gonna use food coloring. So food coloring, dish soap, shaving cream, again, you can get it at the dollar store. I'm gonna use popsicle sticks to stir. Guys, look at me. I actually brought something to stir with today. I'm not using scissors. I'm not using a ruler a tool and I'm using it properly and then you'll also need bowls or cups um, I just grabbed three styrofoam bowls you can use plastic bowls I saw someone used a um, like a cupcake pan okay so I'm gonna tilt this now and we are going to just go for it all you do guys take your your shaving cream oh you should pause it if you want to go get your things if your grown-up says it's okay and you have all the things. And I'm gonna put shaving cream in each one. Ready? Oh, I love shaving cream. Uh-oh. Whoa. That's so much fun. Okay. Oh my gosh. Mess. Now I'm gonna put a couple drops of food coloring into each bowl. Some blue here. That's probably too much. I did four whole drops. My goodness. Three drops of red. Some yellow. You know, you don't have to do all three colors. I'm wondering, guys, because my dish soap is blue. I'm wondering if it's going to affect the color. So if I put blue with blue, is that going to change the color? Probably not. If I put blue with red, what color could it make? 
You're right, purple. Because red and blue mixed together makes purple. I don't know if it is or not going to work with this since it's soap. We'll see. And what about, oh, do you see the bubbles? Probably not. They floated above my head. Um, blue and yellow make green. You're right. So I just put a little squirt of the dish soap in each one. And I'm going to stir them up with my popsicle sticks. Oh, my goodness. I'm stirring. I'm using an appropriate tool today. Look at how cool this is. So fun. I bet it's going to feel really cool with my fingers when I actually paint with it on the paper because it just feels fun. It's like a cool, it's a cool texture. It's very, um, it's almost like it's not even there and yet there's resistance. So there's my blue mixed up. I mix in my red. See if it changes to purple because of that blue soap. I don't think it is. Seems to be pink, which is what happens when you mix red and white, right? Red and white makes pink. Okay. It's very nice. Very nice, very nice. And my last popsicle stick and I'm going to mix up the yellow see if that happens and turns colors oh my gosh guys it's like you're it's like mixing clouds and you can't see the top of my head but that's okay you're used to that by now oh my gosh just keep going keep it going keep it going and then I have red, yellow, and blue, my primary colors as paints. And I'm gonna finger paint right now, oh my goodness. You know what I didn't do, guys. I didn't grab a paper towel like I should have so that I could clean up my hands after, but whatever, we'll see what happens. Since we're doing like a springy theme today and I made my beautiful flowers, I'll make another beautiful flower. I'm gonna make this one have yellow in the middle. Oh, it feels so funny like well it's it's like using shading cream there's my yellow dot in the middle I'm going for it with the same finger I'll make some pink a pink petal oh my gosh and another one <laughs> this is so pretty isn't it and another one I wonder what it'll be like when it dries. You will not let this dry in your tub, though. Please don't. You know, and only do it if your grown-up gives you permission to do it. Like, you know. And then I'm going to take, what do you think is going to happen? I'm just going to stick this finger with pink in it, or pink all over it, right into the blue. Do you think it's going to mix together and make a new color? It might. What color would it make? Purple, you're right. So now I've got some blue and pink on this finger, and I'm going to make a petal right here and a petal right here. It's kind of just swirling together. It's not really mixing together. And another one here. Oh, my goodness. And another one here. This is so fun. I love this. It's so much fun. All right. That's my beautiful flower. So pretty. <laughs> uh, yeah, so make sure you ask a grown-up before you make anything and before you put it in your bathtub. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm trying not to touch my camera or my clothes. What should I do? I'm going to tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use a piece of paper. To clean my finger. There we go. I at least need a dry finger to end the video. <sighs> okay, so that's it for today, my friends. Don't forget to check out Rattle Together on Facebook. You can email me at rburns at kusd.org. Um, I 
had someone tell me that they were emailing me and I have not been getting it. So if that's the case and you want to call the school, um, go ahead and I'll see what IT says if I have a lot of you trying to get a hold of me and you just can't. Um, so Facebook again, FB dot M E slash rattle R A T T L E together T O G E T H E R. Remember to get her. And you can message me there, m dot m e slash rattle together, r a t t l e to get her t o g e t h e r period. I hope to hear from you guys. I hope to see pictures of all the things you're doing, and I just I miss you so much. It's really empty in this building with just a couple teachers once in a while. So hope you are all happy, healthy, and safe. I love ya. Mwah!